So in 2008, we started with our environmental studies. We did our baseline studies. We did our monitoring of the old tailings. Uh, and the nice thing about the history is that there's been a tailings dam there, there's been a mine there before, so we can go back to historic records and new records and demonstrate that environmentally it's a very stable commodity. In terms of minimizing noise, in terms of minimizing environmental disturbance, we use hybrid vehicles as much as we can, uh, both for the workforce and for the transition of materials in and out of site. We have optimized the project for minimize the footprint of the project. And if we check around, you see you have a lot of tree on the site, directly on the site. But why? It's because we want to minimize this footprint. With the First Nations, we've used the, the First Nations uh, strengths as, as much as we can. Uh, we have worked with them to do the, the stripping of, of, the, of the trees and the overburden in the mine area. Uh, we will use them down the track to do all of the rehabilitation of, of the mined out areas and, and the waste material. All these aspects, it's another point for the, 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 uh, the success with the people who live around like Lac Lejeune or people of Lacorne, of the people of First Nation. The nice thing about the project is it has a history and it has a history both of production and environmental excellence. Uh, most of the waste material from the mine is, is a silica sand, a silica tailings, uh, silver white in colour and benign. So the nice thing is we can go back and we can sample the flora, the fauna and the discharges from the tailings and they are inert. So environmentally we're relatively green and the nice thing about our power source is that it's also green hydropower. So we're taking green hydropower, converting it into lithium batteries, lithium batteries then transforming it into green energy again. So it's a nice cycle within Quebec.